open up, up, open up, shut it down like a pack of Open up, open up, open up, open up, cold as ice and cold love. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is Bathrobe Bliss. My name is Bran. Um, Bathrobe Bliss is a mental health and self-care blog. Um, you can follow the link below to catch up on everything that I've posted so far. I just started it this year. Um, it's actually, I started it as an outlet for myself and also as a means to educate um, and inspire others. Um, with my journey. Um, <laughs> so anyways, today I am focusing my self-care on art. Um, art is a way to express yourself, but it's also a way to help you relax, reduce anxiety and stress. <laughs> and we all need that, okay? Um, the activity we're doing today that I'm focused on today is a resin coating on top of an acrylic painting. Um, Resin is a high gloss, high gloss finish that you can apply to your artwork. And I'm excited. I love it. I love it so much, so much. <laughs> okay, guys. So a lot of people might be wondering, well, Brand, why did you go about this route this time? You know, you've been doing, you know, facials and self-love and bedtime routines. Well, like I have said in my vlog, I use self-care in many different ways. Why art and self-care? So when when you're in your creation process, um, as an artist myself, I can get caught up in what I want my piece to look like. And at the end of the day, that can cause a lot of frustration, um, a lot of anxiety, and then stress you out. <laughs> I know that there are a lot of different professions that uh, people take on that do the exact same thing um but when you take us take a minute to stop and enjoy the process of creating um you are able to let go it it, it teaches you how to let go of everything you're holding on to that has you stressed about the outcome and so um at the end of the day um, no matter which activity you choose when you do, when you decide to do art and self-care, um, I want you to make sure you're focused on falling in love with the process of creating. And so that's why I'm choosing right now to do art and self-care. I always take time out of my actual art work schedule to incorporate something that is going to help me stay balanced. <laughs> and so it's, it would be selfish of me to not share this with you guys. So that's why we're doing this today. Okay, so as I stated earlier, <laughs> I am going to do a resin pour coating today. I'm not doing an actual fluid art type thing. Whether you decide to do an acrylic pour or a resin pour or what I'm going to show you today, just a resin coating, um, the fluidity of the medium that we're using when you spread it out it just calms you when you focus on the way it's moving oh my gosh <laughs> it's so satisfying i used to show videos to my students all the time and that's the word they always gave me satisfying <laughs> before we get started we have to make sure that we set up our space so that we don't make a mess in our homes. So what I have here, um, I have a piece of plywood laid down that I decided not to use. Um, and I have my canvas set up on, now I'm a little, some people call it ghetto. <laughs> I call it innovative. <laughs> so I've actually used four canned goods um, from my pantry <laughs> to set up my canvas so that it's not sitting directly on um, the wood. So we have to make sure that we have something, one, to catch the drippings, and two, to elevate the canvas. So make sure you have that. Um, after that, you wanna make sure that you have your two containers, um, wax-free, no wax on them, 
um, two containers so that we can mix our resin. And of course, you're gonna need your resin. Make sure you have mixing sticks. I use popsicle sticks, um, easy to do. Or you can get the mixing sticks from Lowe's or one of your local hardware stores. Um, glitter, <laughs> glitter. You don't have to use glitter if you don't want to. The example that I showed you, I did not use glitter, um, but I'm using glitter today. What else do we need? A painting. <laughs> Make sure you have something that you want to coat. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also going to have a deck of cards. I only need one. <laughs> a deck of playing cards, and I'm going to use that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to use that card to help me spread my resin out. You will also need either a torch or a heat gun. Now, I'm using a heat gun. It works just as effectively as a torch would. So, that's what I'm using. Um, oh, you might also want to have something to cover your piece after you have sprayed your resin. Um, just so that no dust particles can get in it. Now, I don't have that for myself today, so it, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm just going to rock this shit out. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have two measuring containers. You definitely need measuring lines because you have to measure your hardener and your resin properly for it to mix well and cure the right way. Um, I have my resin, white top, hardener, black top. Um, I have a mixing stick and I have a playing card, one of the ones you don't use. Um, and I also have my glitter. Um, if you would rather use popsicle sticks, you can. Um, I'm not. <laughs> not today, I'm not. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna set this container to the side for now. Um, but yeah, let's go. burn sage um you can burn incense you can burn a candle it is what it is um i typically wake up do my morning routine and that sets the atmosphere for my day um which you can catch in my previous videos make sure you go down also make sure you subscribe to my channel and keep up with bathroom bliss and see what brand is up to i would really appreciate it um, thank you for coming. In case I don't say it later, like this video and make sure you share with all of your friends.